G'day, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. If it is your first time, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment in below. If you're returning, thank you very much. We are looking today at Virtual Jeff from FOMO FX. And full disclosure here, um, Pedal Picasso's channel got on board a recent uh, first round crowdfunding for FOMO FX to continue to develop this and other products that they have in the pipeline. FOMO FX went to NAM in 2019 and won best in show with this product, the Virtual Jeff. The most, um, the biggest advancement in uh, whammy bars since Floyd Rose. Um, so that says something, biggest advancement in 40 years. And in fact, Floyd Rose, uh, his comment at NAM was, thank God somebody's finally done it right. Okay, what is it? It's it's high quality, high grade. Um, to me, I used to work in, in aviation a little bit, so to me, that's 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 aircraft aluminium, high grade, um, and tough as nails. It's a calibrated mechanical device which sends an output. You can plug into the foot controller, or as I'm doing at the moment, um, on wireless. I've got a wireless pack right there. Um, and it's paired with the foot controller. You can set up your um, level of whammy to match your, uh, your favourite mechanical whammy. Um, subtle, or you can set another one that's radical. to get all your radical whammy stuff going on. Not only is it um, a whammy, it's a virtual capo as well. So you can switch on your capo and instantly you're down in, in baritone territory. So handy. So in essence, Virtual Jeff is your complete pitch control for your for your live rig. Um, you've got your whammy that you can have fun with for days, and you're not interfering with the tension on your string, so you're minimising the risk of going out of tune or breaking a string. <laughs> Sweet. So, how is it? Why is this such a why is this such a good and such a big development? Well, I'm glad you asked. Fender Strat, late fifties. The mechanical whammy that's involved here um, takes a lot to set up to get it to return close to pitch every time. If if you're using it in any other than a subtle way. You'll continue to get um, wear, not only on this, but also uh, premature wear on your strings because they're continually um, abrading against the bridges here and in your nut up here, all right? Risk of busting strings, yes, for sure. Um, haven't got a Bigsby to show you. Haven't got a Bigsby to show, but the next developments were Kayla and, and uh, Washburn. This is a Washburn Wunderbar on this cricket bat. If you're unfamiliar with cricket, look it up. Great game. It's like baseball, except it takes a week. Um, just showing you the rollers on there. Fine tuners as well. Then the whammy bar. Yes, you get um, some radical whammy here. You've got to set it, a lot of setting up involved to get it to um, travel down to the pitch you want and then up how far you want. There's a trade-off here that you only get maybe two tones up if you're going radical dive bombing. Um, but once again, you've got wear points here. Um, these things will wear out. Homage to Ed. Um, thank you, Ed, and thanks, Floyd Rose. This was the next development, yeah? 
Um, that's under the camera there, so you can see. Floyd Rose also had fine tuners and locking points where the string is actually clamped between here and the nut. Um, similarly, you get um, the ability to radically wear me, but it's mechanical wear, once again. With the Virtual Jeff, you don't get that. Uh, <laughs> so, um, it, it, you know, sometimes the most complex things looks, um, are made to look so simple. Um, and this is just so good. Would you do, for example, this? A whammy on an acoustic. <laughs> acoustic under normal circumstances probably not so you've got mounts um, that the virtual Jeff will slide in and out of the adhesive on them is non invasive to fine um, uh, acoustic timbers or any timbers uh, used for your instruments uh, the glue is non invasive um, which is nice but here we go you've got the ability to whammy on your acoustic <laughs> and also go baritone mode. That's another use, hey? Um, how about this? <laughs> Would you put a whammy bar on your um, Les Paul Jr.? Maybe not. <laughs> If it was set up for your favourite slide parts uh, and you had your, your Les Paul uh, Junior double cutaway set up for uh, open D slide, but you really wanted to be able to have the option to go open E slides or open C slides, great! And to do some whammy stuff on it. You can now with, um, with the Virtual Jeff, all right? <laughs> So you might want it down that far. The option to have a virtual capo so you can set your open tuning anywhere you want is incredible. And it's incredibly smart and it's handy. You don't even have to have the virtual Jeff on there um, you can just have this set up so you plug in your open slide, whatever favourite guitar it is. But you now have the option also of having having um, having the Virtual Jeff Whammy on there as well. The virtual Jeff Whammy Bar. can you go? That's so good. This is the Virtual Jeff. Chop and change on the guitar of your 
choice. Um, I'd like to thank FOMO Effects for sending this out to us. Um, we'll send some links, uh, we'll have some links set in below that you can uh, explore further, Virtual Jeff, and maybe make it part of your guitar journey as well. Um, I think as they're starting to uh, continue to expand their manufacturing and, and marketing uh, capabilities, you might be able to jump on board as well and be part of that ride, as we are, as I said, full disclosure here. Um, do I like it? Of course I like it. Of course I like it. Just one moment and we'll go snap. I love it because I can put um, the whammy on my favourite telly. And I get to turn it into a baritone as well. into a crazy rock machine. This has been Virtual Jeff from uh, FOMO FX. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.